Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 8724 and we are at the fourth problem that is gold rush. So let's see what the problem states. So the problem is like uh, you have a single pile, okay? There is a master pile, a single pile uh, which have like a n number of nuggets, golden nuggets, okay? They are telling that you, need, you can take that pile and split it into two piles, okay? One pile you can split it, but the splitting condition should be that one of the resulting piles has exactly twice as many gold nuggets as the other. That means what? If you have six number of nuggets in the pile, you can split it as only two and four because one of the pile has exactly twice as many as gold nuggets as the other. The other is two, four is twice as many as two. It's twice as many as two is four, right? Yeah, so two into two is four. So four, two, four plus two is six. So Maybe you might be confused, but let me uh, share with an example. How can you split 18? So one of the piles should have twice as many things as the other. So you can write it as 6 and 12. So 12 is a twice as many as 6. But you can't write as 10 plus 8 or 15 plus 3. Everything is wrong because 3 into 2 is only 6 and 18 into 2 is 16. So only this is possible. So this is the operation they have defined they are asking that can you make a pile with exactly m gold nuggets using zero or more operations so this is one operation they will give you one master pile using all these set of operations is it possible whether you are able to get m possible nuggets or not now uh, what are the things we got here we got uh, from this we got it so suppose if they say something like 27 and 38 from 27 nuggets is it possible to get 38 it is definitely not possible right even if you see the test case here right there is a test case called 18 and 27 for 18 and 27 the answer is no you just have to print s or no it is no because only we have 27 nuggets we can't increase the nugget value so it is not possible and let's try to find out uh, are there any other conditions that is satisfying or any other patterns that are there so how are they splitting it initially? So if x is the number, let's say uh, 6, they are splitting it to 2 plus 4. So uh, for let's say 2 is x, the other value should be 2x, right? Do I make sense? Because if this is there, this should be 2x. If this is 2x plus x, this is what? 3x. I don't know this. I came from the reverse order. I want to see the pattern. That's why I wrote like this. If 2 plus 4 is there, I they told that one pile will be twice as many as other. So I just wrote, I assumed one pile as x. So it will be 2x and this will be 3x. Now, what do I know before? I know the value of 3x. 3x value, I already know it as n. This they will give in the question. Now, from n, how do I go to the right side? I just put it on the... Uh, device aside right if I put 3 if I divide it by 3 if I divide everything by 3 what happens it will be n by 3 if x is there I am just replacing it by n n is the one that I are giving question plus 2 into x by 3 it makes sense right 6 what is 6 by 3 is 2 plus 2 into 6 by 3 is again 2 2 plus 4 now let's see for 18 so this is just normal mathematics okay x plus 2x I need to draw uh, using this formula what do I get 18 by 3 is how much 18 by 3 is 6 plus 2 into 18 by 3 that is 6 6 plus 12 okay so whenever you want to split the number you can use this formula that is n by 3 plus 2 into x by 3 2 into uh, n by 3 sorry right so the formula we got now let's take an example and see whether it's possible or not so 27 they told as n and let's assume m value is 4 okay is this combination possible or not so what are all the things we can try out here from 27 uh, of one pile and four should be on the same pile so how is this possible so we'll try all the combinations so 27 can be split into how much n by 3 plus 2 into n by 3 so 27 by 3 is 9 and the balance that is 2 into 9 is 18 right and 9 can be split into again 3 and this can be split into 6. 6 they already gave in the question as 2 and 4 and this as 1 and 2. So 18 also we already calculated as 6 and 12 here and 12 can be like 12 by 3 is 3 and 9 okay. So now they asked like uh, n is 24 and m is 4. So if we split first split should be 9 and 18 
then again 9 you split as 3 6 then 6 you again split as 2 4 so this is the path what is happening here it is simple depth first search and a small modified dp because yeah it is just depth first search here you just want to don't have to repeat it one more thing you need to notice is this is the only thing that we observed we did not implement it yet now what is this here also 6 is coming do we need to compute it again no since 6 is already computed whatever be the result we will carry over the result here so since they told yes or no i'll just put true here these are all false so if true or false true is present so i'll true will go here then true will go here this also true okay these are all will be false this also will be true here okay so this will be true because 6 is already defined here it will be true 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 and this also this will be false so false or true will be true so i am just trying to build a tree and uh, just uh, recursing it back so uh, we can do it with for loop or any other condition it might be hard but the most simplest way is we can just do recursion using all the conditions so i'll show you the code then it will be very easier so it's straightforward the only thing is you just want to derive this formula from the question itself that also they give now how did we do it uh, we have n here and m here i have a thing called as recurse and there is an array called as visitor because as we saw uh, 6 is coming as a duplicate number right 6 is coming as a duplicate number again we don't have to compute the n by 3 and n by 3 into two values so that's why i kept now you simply go here let's see what does it say so n if n equal to equal to m n means uh see suppose this is 27 and this is 4 means n is this and m is this using this 27 only i am splitting the value so for each function on the iteration the 27 value actually changes so that's why i am putting as n if n equal to equal to n whenever 27 becomes as 4 you return true what are the conditions that is base condition this number should never be bigger right so always n should be greater and n should be divisible by 3 so if a number is 10 you can never split something like uh, 2 uh, times of the other number so it will be x and 2x x plus x is 2x 3x it is not 10 is not divisible by 3 so it is not possible so this condition also you keep now not visited dot count of n by 3 as you saw earlier 6 is coming two times so if it is already visited you just put uh, you don't have to iterate that at all because that value is already sent back now this is a kind of like a map right visited of n by 3 if let's assume that n by 3 is 6 here recurse the 6 value with m so we are checking that whether 6 can be split into 4 or not so then not visited of n by 3 into 2 this is the second part so how did we do n by 3 is there and n by 3 into 2 is there using this many branches will come right this n by 3 also come n by 3 into 2 so all these branches we are checking whether n by 3 into 2 is visited if it is not visited recurse this the result will be pushed back to visit of n by 3 now return of visited of n by 3 or visited of n by 3 into 2 that means what uh, here uh, we have tried it right true or false so this is visited of n by 3 this is of visited of n by 3 into 2 this can be true and this can be false so you keep our condition here the or condition will be here then again it goes back goes here and it goes here so uh, that's it and if there is any base condition that comes other than this you return false so whatever be the condition you get you print yes if you are totally new to recursion or dfs make sure you just learn but i hope uh, since this is straightforward uh, i just explained in this sense so if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try my best to answer but i guess like if you have dfs or some approach it will be better so that's it guys and uh, the coding details it's also accepted the submission number is here i'll link it to the description so once the hacking phase is over you will be able to access it so that's it guys thank you so much and uh, see you in the next problem